Okay, so I'm going to record two demos today. The first, how to create a new workflow using the Slack workflow builder. And the second is how to edit one. I'm going to share my screen. So first of all, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go on my Slack. And I'm gonna go, let's say on a channel, let's say the digital channel, digital circle. And I'm gonna look for this icon right at the bottom, which is run shortcut. I'm gonna click on that. And this automatically opens up open workflow builder. And it also shows me some workflows that are already there. In this case, I want to create a new workflow. I want to create a workflow. So here I can choose what to do. There it gives me some options, send a, send a scheduled message, collect info, request input. There's different templates. Let's say I want to start from scratch. Start from scratch, from a link, from an emoji, when a person joins the channel on a schedule, let's say on a schedule. So I want a message to go out every so often. Let's say the last Thursday of the month. Frequency monthly on the last Thursday. This gives me the time. I can choose to change the time if I want to. Let's say, I don't know, six o'clock. It gives me the time zone. Continue. Then this is basically when it starts and how it repeats. So now I need to make sure that I add whatever it, the things that I need to add. So if I click as the next step here, a message, send message to a channel. I can click the channel I want to send it in. Let's say I want to send it to the digital circle. And here I write my message. Hello. It is time of the month. Again, please do X and Y, let's say. So we can also insert a variable. So if you want to insert a time or a workspace. So if I click this, then it will basically uh, just indicate where what workspace we're doing so this is here basically in our workspace in the colab workspace i can also include a button say i want to include a button the button would be to submit save that i can also include a form so let's say i want to include a form collect info the title of the form for example, update personal data. The question, what are we updating? You make this a requirement uh, or not. And you can keep adding questions. And there's different kinds of questions you can add as well. So let's see. They can also delete it if I don't need it. I can save that. So here it, it asks you, it gives you a suggested step if you want to create a channel message or if you want to do it in the Google Sheets. I would say that for the collab, we're not recommending we're not recommending Google Sheets. Um, this kind of workflow will automatically produce a CSV report if you know how to run it, which I can show you later. So it would be best not to send the data to Google whenever you can avoid it. 
if you put a, ch a channel message, then it's going to say, let's say, let's say every time someone submits this form on the digital channel, the digital circle channel, which is where we've posted it, I want it actually to send to a, um, a channel that's not public. So there's a backend to it. And the message could be, we can insert variable here. I can put the data. Or I can put other variables. So this is the data from the form. You can click insert all data. And that will basically submit a message in that private channel as to what data was submitted and so on. I can save that. And there's a lot of other options. I can pick a Calendly or I can send people to the calendar, link to a mirror and so on and so forth. Some of these are not set up, so you'd have to be the first person using it to be setting it up. The users, it can also um, create new user group. So for example, if you're asking for people interested in a certain project, then it, it can create a user group for people who respond in, into, into this form. Um, you can also add uh, people to a user group. So if you are making an um, interest group or anything like this where you're adding people to them, then later you can tag them in your message and so on or address a message to this user group. Okay. So the step, let's say I want to add here another message. I want to send a message to the person who have completed it. person who submitted the form and I can say thank you for submitting the changes for your data as per the below and then give them also a copy of their data perhaps there you go so that's basically what they have, a copy of what they have submitted so that they have a record of it. And it sends it to them as a private message. You can save that. So as you can see, you can keep adding steps of what happens um, after that initial message is kicked off, right? Once you're finished with it, you can publish it. Here, I'm just gonna say, for the sake of this demo, Demo test workflow. It's not going to be a serious workflow, let's say. I'll delete it later. Here's a space where you can write a description. Just testing. And you can change an image. And you can do this. You can pick an image from uh, one that you have on file. For example, a logo. This one, just an image, not so important. You can crop, crop and recenter your image. Save that. That's what it will look like. Save it. I can publish it. Now, this is an important part when it comes to publishing it. I want to add here collaborators who are in the team with me. So for example, if I want to give edit rights to other people in the call-up, this is where I would do it. In this case, let's say I want to add Tanya and Charlie. Who can find this workshop? I you can also limit it. You can limit it to everyone in the collab or specific people and channels. Let's say I want to limit it to specific channels. I want to limit it to the digital circle. And who can copy this workflow? You can also limit limited to collaborators or everybody else. And then when you're ready, you just publish that.
So this is an announcement that has been published and it tells you exactly for when you set it up for, right? The 30th of November, in this case, the last Thursday at that point and it repeats. So you click done. We can close this, we can close it. So this now is listed in our work for workflow builder view, which remember we have started from our little run shortcut from the message there at the bottom. So that's the first part of the demo. And I'm going to stop the recording here and record the second part of this demo as a separate video.